Hello guys, welcome to Solving Solutions, your number one channel where you get solutions to all your solving problems. It's nice having you in class again today. How have you been? We are going to show you how um, you can work with templates. You know, when you want to make maps, it's expedient that um, you haven't moved your data to the map canvas. Actually, create what um, a print layout, right? Good. So you go to project sorry you go to project then you come to new print layout right or you just use them um, control p so when you click on that um, new print layout you are let's say um, requested to just give it a name or you are supposed to give it a name let's say let's just give it that um, that ws right good and you click on ok so upon doing all of this you have what you have your new print layout then you can decide to change the page properties. Let's say you don't want to use A4, you want to use A3, or you want to use um, A2, or you want to use um, A0, but let's keep that A3. Then the orientation, you don't want to use landscape, you want to use portrait, or you still want to use what landscape, right? However, you can still um, modify the size of your paper um, with these um, their constant values, right? Yeah. When you modify it, they are no longer constant, right? Good. So you can modify the size of the papers with these values. So to have the the preferred paper size, right? Good. Now on today's video, what we want to show to you is how you can actually what load someone else's um, let's say a layout that was designed by someone else, right? Good. So we already have one. So let's come back to the layout. Sorry, let's um, let's just minimize this. Good. So now let's come back to our project. Let's go to our layout. Now, on this particular um, project, we already have one. Good. Now we already have one which we actually designed for um, a particular area, like um, yeah, a bathymetric chart for a particular area. So what we want to do now is that it actually takes some time to load. So let's just see how it loads. What we are trying to achieve now is that if I give someone or if someone had sent this particular um, QGIS layout to me. Good. If someone had sent them this particular QGIS layout to me, it would actually save me the stress of starting from scratch, right? Good. So basically, there is actually a template, there is a frame, there are grids, you know, they can actually still be modified when you bring in your data set. Then there is actually, yeah, the not arrow where they will be in different triangles, right? Sorry. In different um, rectangles, right? So, if someone sends this particular um, template to me, how do I load it to my QGIS and then update it or let's say modify it to suit the present um, tax I want to carry out? So, that's what we are going to show to you today. So, thanks for coming to class. If you're coming to the channel for the first time, you can encourage us by subscribing. And if you are returning, you are thanks for always um, checking up on us. So, I haven't seen all of these. The, let's now go back to the layout we created, which is this, right? Good. So it's assumed that I want to bring in that um, template that was given to me, or let's say was sent to me, right? Good. So we go to what we go to layout, then we click on add items from template, right? Good. So we are working on a folder called um, load template, right? Good. And then we have the bathymetry template saved there. So you just um, select and then you open. Or you can even double click right good so that particular template will now be loaded on your new print layout as you can see now it's been loaded right good now the essence of actually getting a template from maybe a design template yeah the essence of loading a design template is that maybe if you want to work on similar projects so you can have uh, maybe study area templates or any other templates that you can always reuse again right good so when you have um, a template like that, all you need to do is to just maybe if you have to change the paper size, maybe modify the paper size, this is A3, right? Good. You can decide to change it to any other um, paper size that is um, already defined there, or you you give it your own um, preferred width and height, right? Good. So this is how you load them. Um, QGIS template from maybe yeah, from an external source. Should we call it external source? Maybe QGIS template that was sent to you. However, that's not the end. If you want to send the template to someone, 
maybe you've actually designed this um, bathymetric chart or maybe a study area map or something else and you want to share the template with someone how do you do it it's still very simple you go to what you go to layout right good then you select or you click on save as template now what it does is that it saves this particular template you have on maybe particular location you want it to be on your pc right good then you can now send that particular file or that file to someone which the person would assess the way we have what shown it to you right good you just click on what save as template good so we are still on our folder load template so let's just um, call this um batty let's say batty ss right good so this is the new template that will now be sent to someone just in case the person needs it right good so you just click on save right good now let's go to that folder we have saved it if we are going to find it there good as you can see we saw the first template we loaded which is the party and you can also see what the party ss which is the template we just exported so it's not limited to just these two you can even have them um, study area maps right good so let's see if we can bring in a template of um, study area, right? So, good. Now, um, another very important thing to note is that um, the paper size is very, very important. So let's say the, you don't know the size of the template, the paper size of the template that has been sent to you. So let's say you left it by default at, um, let's say, at A4, right? Good. And you try to bring in a particular template right good so you know the drill right you go to layout you go to um, add items from layout right good so we have one um, template here which is for study area so just double click and it loads good so we have what the template for the study area however you can see that you need to do a good number of uh, modifications we can see multiple um, scale bars there, so you can just uh, delete them and then add your preferred scale bar, right? Good, so let's see this last one. So this is how you actually um, load a um, QGIS map template. So this is for, maybe this is for Nigeria, this is for the states, then this is for maybe the local government or the region or maybe the actual project area, right? Good. So you can just decide to the all the layers were locked. You can see they were all locked. So you can decide to what unlock each of the layers and update their contents accordingly. Right? Good. So upon updating their contents accordingly, you can also see a few things to do on the what on the grids and the, some other elements of the map. So this is how you load them. QGIS a map template and then how you can also export which we have shown to you earlier so thanks for how you can save the templates which you can actually share with someone else that's what we mean by export right good so thanks for coming to class we hope we've provided solutions to this particular surveying gis related problem and if you have issues like this you can always contact us and we'll get back to you as soon as possible we are going to see you on our next video until then keep staying safe and have a very good time Bye.